The Corrective Services Department is considering a new innovative approach where private investors would help to combat WA's high re-imprisonment rates. The model is used in the UK, the USA and New South Wales. But unions say it's just privatisation by stealth. Western Australia is spending more than ever on the prison and justice system, but rates of re-offending remain high, particularly for Aboriginal and juvenile offenders. Now the Corrective Services Department is investigating a new way of tackling the problem called social benefit bonds. They are innovative in the fact that they haven't been done for very long in other jurisdictions. Social benefit bonds work like this. The government contracts a company to deliver a program, for example diversionary or rehabilitation programs aimed at reducing re-offending. The company raises money from private investors and pays a not-for-profit organisation to run the program. If it proves successful and delivers agreed targets, in this case reducing re-offending, the government then pays the company. The better the results, the higher the return to investors. The approach is already being used in other parts of the world to reduce re-offending and tackle other social issues such as homelessness and at-risk families and children. WA's Inspector of Custodial Services says it's too early to to judge the results of trials elsewhere, but believes WA needs to try something new. If we could stop 10 adults going back into prison for one year, we've saved a million dollars. One of the aims is to reduce government spending in an area while improving social outcomes. But not everyone's a fan. WA's main public sector union says it represents privatisation by stealth. We believe that they are privatisation dressed up. They're just a fancy way of privatising uh, corrective services. The Corrective Services Minister Joe Francis says he's been looking at innovative ways to reduce reoffending for some time. He says it would be crazy not to try new ideas, which could be a win for the community, for investors and for offenders who could turn their lives around. Jessica Strutt, ABC News.